Okay, so magandang umaga po ulit sa ating lahat. Ha? So, welcome to my uh, YouTube TV channel. So, for this week, uh, we are going to tackle about the systems of linear equations into variables. So, we are now in our week 7 of our first quarter in this school year 2022 so before we proceed to our lesson so kindly like our video and subscribe our youtube channel so to continue so systems of linear equation in two variables so after going through this lesson you are expected to illustrate system of linear equation into variables and determine if the graph of the systems of linear equations are parallel perpendicular intersecting or coinciding lines so in the previous lesson you were able to graph the linear equation into variables the graph is a line that either rises to the right or falls to the right so the graph rises to the right if the slope is positive take note of that if the slope is positive so the graph is rises to the right and if it falls to the right the slope is negative so when the graph is horizontal the slope is zero and when the graph is vertical the slope is undefined Okay, so take note of that. A pair of linear equations in two variables form a system of linear equations. So the graph of a system of two equations is a pair of lines in the plane. So for our learning task 1, you are expected to graph the linear, uh, the linear equations in one coordinate plane. So, in our previous lesson, so nagkaroon na tayo ng graphing. So, madali na yan on how to graph uh, the linear equation. So, for number 1, yun lang. So, igagraph niya siya in one coordinate plane. Okay? So, let us continue. So, the graph of systems of linear equations may coincide, may be parallel, perpendicular, or intersecting so for example y is equal to 2x minus 3 and y is equal to 2x plus 1 as you can see ang ating slope ay what is this slope? 2 diba? the value of m is 2 so they are equal and what is the y intercept? the y intercept here is negative 3 so, nasa ng ating negative 3? So, diba dito yon Okay. And then, yung positive 1 ay ito. So, negative 3, positive 1. Okay. So, nakita nyo yan. So, therefore, the lines are parallel. So, looking back to the two equations, their slopes are equal. Take note equal yung kanilang slope and the y intercepts are different which is ang isa nga po ay negative 3 at ang isa ay positive 1 okay so parallel sila so therefore kung sila ay parallel lines we have no solutions okay so there is no solution set on this uh, linear equation okay no solution yon then for letter b let us have another example for example y is equal to 3x my plus 2 and the equation 2 is y is equal to negative one third x plus 4 okay okay now let us identify the slope the slope of the first equation is 3 and the slope of the second equation is negative one third 
However, yung kanya namang uh, y-intercept is 2. And then the other is 4. Okay? So, kung i-graph natin siya, so ito yung kanyang illustration. Okay? So, the lines are perpendicular, meaning they intersect and form a right angle. May right angle po na nabuo between the intersection of the two lines. So, this, their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. So, the product of this slope is negative 1. Kasi, if we multiply 3 and negative 1 third, the product is negative 1. Okay? And their slope is different. Magkaiba pa rin ang kanila R, kanilang Y-intercept. Magkaiba pa rin. So, take note of that, ha? Once again, go back. Kapag parallel, the slope is the slope is the same. And then, kapag naman po perpendicular, the slope is negative reciprocal. The product of their slope is negative reciprocal. Okay? Then, another example. In the third example, we have y is equal to negative x plus 3. Then, the other is negative y or y is equal to 2x plus 3 or minus 3. So, getting the slope of the line of the first equation, we have negative 1. Then, the y-intercept is 3. And then, on the second equation, the slope is 2 and the y-intercept is negative 3. So, kung napapansin ninyo, their slopes are not equal. So, they are different to each other. And then, their y-intercept is also not equal. They are different. So, intersecting lines. At ito yung tinatawag nating solution set. The point of intersection. Wherein, the point of intersection, the coordinates x and y are possible to these two equations. Kagaya din po dun sa ating perpendicular lines. Okay? So, yung point of intersection, ayun ang tinatawag nating solution set. Okay? So, let us continue. Then, the other is, if each line in the system has the same slope and same y-intercept, the lines are coincident. So, the lines are on top of each other. Okay, so meaning to say, kung ang kanilang slope at ang kanilang y-intercept ay iisa, so nagkaroon ng overlapping of lines. No. So, all the solution set are equal to each other, yung coordinates x and y. So, yun ang tinatawag nating coincident. ba? Okay, so, we have a learning task 2. So, what are we going to do without graphing? Tell whether the graphs of the system of equations are parallel, perpendicular, intersecting, or coinciding. So, once again, papano nga po ulit natin ma masasabi na ang na ang linya ay na ang linya ay parallel perpendicular intersecting or coinciding so kapag sinabi po natin parallel ibig sabihin there is slope slope 1 is equal to slope 2. Okay? And uh, their y-intercept uh, are not equal uh, to each other. Hindi sila equal. Kapag sinabi naman po natin perpendicular, pag sinabing perpendicular, the product of the slope uh, or their slopes is equal to negative 1. So, for example, let's say um, ang slope ng equation 1 is 4 times negative 1 fourth. 
So therefore, that is negative 1. The product is negative 1. So, yun ay masasabi nating perpendicular lines. And their slope or their y-intercept is also not equal. Okay? So, not equal pa rin po yung kanilang y-intercept. So, ganun sa ano naman po sa intersecting lines. So, when we have uh, intersecting lines, Okay? Ang atin naman pong slope slope 1 and slope 2 are not equal once again. Hindi pa rin po sila equal. Ano ha? Okay? And their intercept is not equal also. Okay? So, ganun po. So, tandaan lang ha, dun sa unang nabanggit, sa tatlong unang nabanggit, their intercepts are not equal. Then, their slope dito ay equal sa parallel, dun sa perpendicular ay negative reciprocal. Ano ha, their products is negative 1. And then, dito naman po sa intersecting lines ay not equal. Okay, so tandaan. And then, sa coincide, coincident naman, or coinciding lines coinciding so the, the slope the slope 1 and the slope 2 are equal equal po ha kagaya do sa parallel equal but their but their intercepts is also equal Compare naman dito sa parallel, they are not equal. So, yun lang po yung pagkakaiba ng ating, ng ating uh, uh, four different kinds of uh, systems of linear equations. So, paki-screenshot na po para meron na po kayong guide para ma-identify yung ating systems of uh, linear equations. Okay? And then, for learning task 3, go back to our self-learning modules. And learning task 3, you are going to graph the systems of linear equation. Igagraph lang po siya. Okay? And then, for our learning task 4, you are going to describe the slope and y-intercepts of the graphs of the systems of linear equations. So, pagaya po nitong ating ginawa. Okay? So, ito po ay kagaya nito. Ang ating identify. Ito sa ating learning task 4. Okay? So, thank you very much. So, once again, this is our week 7 which are systems of linear equations into variables. So, hanggang sa muli. Marami pong salamat at sana po nakatulong itong ating uh, maikling video tutorial para sa pagsasagot ng ating SLM sa ating mathematics age. So, marami pong salamat guys.